Hello, WWRP, I'm at it to what's good. Right now in Bayonne, it is a staggering 34 degrees. Perfect weather for me. Anyway, due to a couple of things that happened last night, people not failing to show up to matches and a controversial finish at the end, we are going to do a couple of new changes to the group. Two new, they, they're not really big changes. It's still, still pretty big. This is what's gonna happen from now on. If, the cha if you have a championship match on a weekend, the champion does not fail to show up. The contender automatically gets the title at midnight. The contender doesn't have to wait for the opponent to show up online anymore. It's the champion's responsibility to show up online. If you can't make a match that night and you don't tell us ahead of time, you might lose your belt. What I did to prime time and uh, it has nothing to do with Abdul or Primetime. This is exactly what happened. Primetime showed up in the ring. And he said, well, I can't make it today. So I'll defend it at the next pay-per-view. That's not how it goes. That is not how I'm running this route. If you can't show up, if you cannot show up, let, at least let me know or let Steven know or Joey or Jay or Scott or Pam or Dee or Luis that you can't make it to the match. You showing up to the match and saying, oh, I can't do the match today. I'll defend the title at the next pay-per-view. That's not how it goes. Defend the title at that pay-per-view and that pay-per-view only. If you don't defend that title at the pay-per-view, you will lose the match. You will lose the title, and the person who get facing will get the title. That's how it's going to go from now on. Tired of matches not happening or matches not going on because I'm just getting tired of it. That's it. That's, that's basically it. I'm, not, I'm done playing games. This is for fun. You defend the titles for fun. And you don't want to show up. So Primetime was stripped of his title last night. And I handed it to Abdul. Abdul was ready for the match. But but uh, Primetime, because it didn't fit his schedule. And it's fine. Because one of the rules say we go according to your schedule. And we do. Just not title matches. Title matches have to have. Title matches at pay-per-views have to happen. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Unless you tell unless you tell a board member a day before the pay-per-view or two days before the pay-per-view giving us a heads notice. Now on to the second new rule. If your opponent only does a reaction at comment 49, you are allowed to taunt your opponent back and that person who did a reaction has to do a move at comment 51 or he will lose the match well not lose the match but he'll get a warning you do you do you do two reactions in a row meaning you not you and your opponent I mean you you go. I get a hold in my head. My turn. I taunt you. Or something like that. When you go, you have to attack me. That's it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts, or, or anything about that. This only happens around common 49 and 50. That's the only time that this rule will go into effect. It's kind of 49 or 
is that Karma 49. That's, that's basically about it. I'm done playing games. I feel, I feel that's the best way to deal with it. You want to you want to you want to do a reaction to Common Forty Nine? Fine. Your opponent can do a com could do a reaction to Common Fifty. You cannot reverse that reaction. No more reversing reactions. You can only reverse attacks. So basically, if you if you do a reaction, your opponent can do a reaction, and you can't reverse it. You can't reverse reactions anymore. You can't reverse him holding his eye. You can't do that anymore. I'm sorry. That's a little unrealistic and a little unfair. So from now on, you got to do your re you do your opponent's reaction. I could do the reaction back, and you can't reverse it. That's pretty much how it's going to go from now on. That's a neat, that's a fair and easy rule. Now on to the firing of Kanadik. Let me explain to you guys why Kanadik was terminated from WWE RPM Attitude. In case you guys didn't read what I posted. He refused to have to do title matches. Which I feel stupid. I mean who doesn't want to have a title in a group? Let's see what else. Uh Let's see. Oh yeah. This is the thing that's kind of kind. He complained that no one would train him. That's one. Number two, he complained or he kept on making himself look and feel bad. It's not gonna happen. Never say you suck, because you can always get better. You can always win. Can I tell you the prime example of that? Abdul. Duel is basically a prime example of that. And so is Ryan Pedigo. And so is Ken Punkinson. Those three people are, are basically three people that used to suck in WRP. And I apologize for calling you guys, for making you guys look bad and stuff, but I gotta give a good example. Those three guys basically sucked. Basically sucked. Abdul got better, Ryan got better. And uh, K. Punk Gibson got better. Also, Michael Hall is getting better too. So I don't want to hear that you refuse to do matches because you suck. That's the only way you're gonna get better in matches is by doing matches. No ifs, ands, or buts, or excuses like that. I used to suck too. I went 0 and 25. Well, not 0 and 25. Went 0 and 20. Before I got my first victory. Then I won six matches in a row. Then I lost one. Then I started getting the hang of it. It's pretty much what I want you guys to, to understand. Basic, I kind of was talking about dissing Americans and shit like that. It's freedom of speech, yeah. But you don't go dissing every single person in the group that works hard. And say, oh, you're a typical American. Americans give people chances. That's all I'm gonna say. We give chances to people that need chances. And I gave him chance after chance after chance. After he was fired, I brought his ass back and gave him a second chance. And uh, I told him, this is his last chance. He knew it. So, uh, him coming back into the group, not going to happen. Not going to happen one bit. So, this is, so, that's all I'm going to say. Do you have a title match? This is the moral of today's video. One. You got a title match, make sure you get it done. ROH also follows the pay-per-view rule by midnight on Sunday. So ROH and pay-per-views are together. Basically. Two.
the new the new rule with the reaction reaction then action you must do if you do reaction your opponent can do a reaction then you have to do then I have to attack basically that's what it means Connor got fired because he had a lot of excuses and he dissed everybody and made people and brought guns into the group and stuff like that. So that's why he was gone. This one needs to start reading matches. And uh, now we're into the new pay per view dock. So the old pay per view dock is gone now we begin the new dock the dock that i created we started it yesterday we're in a new pay-per-view dock now so this is rpm the messiah dr schwickman to tell you guys no mercy's coming up this weekend and we have a lot in store for you guys so, have a good day.